So this will be a quick video on how to modify the media console in Altspace uh, in your existing location. This isn't about placing new media consoles or moving them around. This is just about modifying the, the video to be whichever video you want. So to do this, we have to do it in 2D mode, which is basically the web browser version. So you go to altvr.com and then you click login. You type in the same credentials here that you type in um, when you set up your account with a headset. So you sign in. Once you're in, it'll take you to this basic site that shows you the events for the day. And then if you click on the more button up here, and then click on worlds, it'll bring up the worlds that you want. Well, all the worlds. And if you want to see just your worlds, you click on where it says my world. World Um, And then it'll show you your universes. You'll just have just one and it'll be called KHB construction. And inside you'll have just one world. Not this, this is my test world. So you'll have just one world called KHB exhibit. See how it says KHB worlds. And then you hit, you click on that, and then you click enter now. And that will bring up the, the PC version of the Altspace client. And then it'll, it brings up, this is new, it brings up this menu in between. It should go straight in, but <clears throat> typically one right here will be this. Go ahead and click enter. Okay, and now we're in your world. Here we go. So to walk around, it's W forward, S is back, then A and D do step left and step right. And then you move the mouse, you see there's a little green cursor in the middle. That's the same cursor that we see in uh, Alt Space. So now there's the media player that we already have set. And there's a config button right down there, all right? So I'm gonna back up a little bit because it's a little bit loud, but I'm gonna click on the config button and then just back up a little. All right, I stopped the audio. Okay, so now it's asking for <clears throat> the code for the video that you want. So it's really easy to generate this code. You go to this website, multimedia-console.allspacevr.com and that's this website right here. And inside here, we just set a few variables now, unfortunately, this loop media button doesn't actually work. We couldn't click it anyway, but it doesn't work. Start method is start at beginning. Assuming you want it to start as soon as you enter the world. And then who can control the media? You or anybody who walks into the world? I always say owner, um, owner only. And then uh, can configure the media, actually change the media is also owner only. So this allows you to add multiple videos and pictures. You can make like a whole presentation. But let's just do the one video at a time. So I'm going to click on this is picture and this is video. So I'm going to click on video and I have a URL that I'm already have set up. So this is the only part that we have to talk with someone on your IT side. You, you really can't host on YouTube or Vimeo or these other sites. It really has to be somewhere exposed to the internet uh, a lo under your own URL. So it's just really easy to get to because the browser, there's all kinds of protections that YouTube has to keep you from like basically pulling videos off and showing them in other places. So this is the safest way to do it. And I'll walk you through that. So I'm going to copy that into memory. And then I'm going to go to here and I'm going to say, okay, the video, I'm just going to call it video one, give you whatever you want. And the URL is this. Now the video is Sabal Final 80 MP4. So that's the video right here. Now, the only other thing you gotta know is that the video is one minute and 44 seconds. So in, in seconds, in total seconds, that's uh, 104 seconds, right? I did my math right. So that's actually important. It won't loop if you don't put the actual length of the video. And it's, it's a bug and they know, but no one's fixed it yet. So you really have to put 104 seconds, which is the length of the video, and then how loud you want it, you, I, mean, I would suggest you start at 0.5 and you can modify it later. Start time is if you want it to start later seconds in the video. Roll off distance is sort of the distance in which it you can hear the video fall off. I would leave those two as default. And again, at the end of the video, say loop. 
And again, it still won't work if the seconds aren't in there. And you hit OK or check box. OK. And now there's a little publish button in the top right hand corner here. Click that publish button and it gives you like a funny word, two words, meet those. It's random. All right. So I hit copy into that. Now I go back into alt space and I type in that funny two word thing right there. Control V. Meet those and hit OK. And bingo. And the video plays. And that's it. And you can keep going back if it's too loud and you want it to be less loud. You can go into here and click on the little pencil button and say, I'm going to say like 0 0.01. We really want to hear our audio difference. Oh, it's between 0 and 1, and it's what's called a flow, which means it can be any decibel as well. So I'm going to republish that, and I'm going to say, okay, 0 0.01. Now I have a new word called got sent. And I'm going to go back to the media. I'm going to click it again, put got sent in there. And we should hear the audio being a lot lower. Yeah. Very faint video. So that's how that works. Thank you.